vacuums have become widely available at a variety of price points from budget models to feature-packed premium designs. Joining us now with the top-tested robotic vacuums is Senior Director of Content Operations at Best Reviews, Jacob Palmer. Jacob, thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for having me. You know, a lot of people have normal jobs where they don't have to be thinking about robotic vacuums. <laughs> I've been working at Best Reviews for a very long time, yeah. and it's been a, on the top of my mind for a lot of that time, too. Uh -huh. And what I've noticed is, is that they're just getting more and more popular, and they're usually marked down for the big sale days. So we want to prepare everybody ahead of the big sale days. We got an Amazon event coming in October with the Prime big deal days yep. and then we've got obviously Cyber Monday, Black Friday and all that coming up as well. So I want to make sure that everybody's got all the information because this usually ends up being a pretty popular product. And that's helpful too because now everyone can keep their eye on things a little bit early. But, and I have to say I will, I'll give Jacob his credit, you've actually talked about robotic vacuums for a while this last year, but now we're getting, we're diving deep into the details. But before we get into each single one, what is the testing process like? Yeah, so at Best Reviews we want to be giving everybody those real life insights on what's going on so you know I was talking about how normal people have real jobs yeah. with the jobs that I have <laughs> uh, we're pouring coffee grounds on the ground we're making sure that the pets are shedding extra so that we can give people the right insights for when they're trying to buy one of these things yeah. so over the last couple months in the best reviews testing lab we have been testing dozens of different robotic vacuums we've brought some of our favorites here from our favorite brands in the space and basically what we did is we tested them in those real life environments uh, you know where there are coffee grounds on the kitchen floor. Yep. Uh, the baby is throwing her dessert all over the place. You need to clean up after that. The pet is, you know, leaving his fur everywhere. So we tested all of those things to find out, you know, what is the best at different price points? How do people make the right decision when they're considering one of these things? And then also, how, what are the features that people are going to be looking for when they ultimately decide, okay, I do want to take this chore away from myself, which mm -hmm. I think is a pretty natural conclusion for a lot of people to come to. Yeah, but you already pretty much had me sold when you said take away <laughs> chores, everybody. So let's get into our first robotic vacuum over here. So starting with the Shark, and this is the AI Ultra series. What we love about these is that they come in at a little bit lower of a price point than these other models that we're going to be talking about today, but they have a lot of the same functionality that you're looking for. Our testers love the suction power of it. They felt like it was super solid in terms of navigating their home, being able to map what they were, uh, map the rooms that they was cleaning and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So love that. It also comes with another high-end feature, despite the price point, of the self-emptying base. Ooh. And so, you know, one of the things that we'll definitely talk about today is how gross it is to reach into your <laughs> vacuum and clean out the, du the dust canister in there. This does it for you to make sure that you minimize that. Obviously, you will have to empty the self-emptying base every so often, but that's much less gross than reaching into a vacuum that's full of pet hair, uh, dust, yeah. and other debris. You are bringing back bad memories memories right now because I'm an avid vacuumer and I'm telling you when you have to reach in and get all the dirt and the ground oh yeah I don't like that but this is perfect that solves all those problems now let's move it move on to the Eufy over here so Eufy another great name uh, you know and it's one where you might look at the word and you're going oh that's not how you pronounce that but it's E-U-F-Y <laughs> yeah. Eufy and what we love about these is number one they're again going to be marked down they're super popular on the big sale events you can find them for a couple hundred bucks off which you know a lot of these are going to range from anywhere from 400 to $1,000 when you're looking at a full price. So I think finding those sales events, finding those opportunities is a great way to get one of these. This particular model is the X8 Hybrid. And what we like about the X8 Hybrid is, is that it by its name, it does dual functions. It, number one, can be a vacuum like the rest of these, but it also has the mop function within it. And so we absolutely love that if you have a variety of floors, if you've got the linoleum yeah. and the, you know, the vinyl and then rugs and carpeting and all that, it can handle all of that. And actually on the hardwood, our tester absolutely loved how this was able to suck up all of the pet hair. So mm. I think pet owners are really what these uh, you know appeal to. And yeah. this is a great one for that pet owner with a variety of floors in their house. And, you know, you know, my, my wife is always saying we need to figure out something to clean up after this baby after uh, <laughs> after she eats her meals. And this is a great way to do it because yeah. it makes sure you get all of that banana she threw down on the floor uh -huh. off of the floor, which at the end of the day, I think is always the goal. That is definitely the goal. So this is really ideal for pet owners and hey, I don't want to say baby owners, people who have <laughs> babies out there yes, like yourself. The parents of young children. We'll parents say. of young children. Got it. Okay, perfect. These two models, we like this. But moving on over here. So this is huge because this is from I 
iRobot. And what we love about iRobot is that they were one of the first to pioneer this technology. In terms of the actual robot technology that they put into it, we found that they are the best. And yeah. they are the originators of the Roomba line. And Roombas are so popular and so early to the trend that a lot of people think that that's what all of these are called. It's not. I thought so. Only the iRobots <laughs> are, are, are the Roombas. And yeah. this one that we have with us right now is the, uh, uh, excuse me, the Roomba J7 Plus. And it's the combo model as well. But why it's Plus and what you'll learn when you're shopping for these is if you see Plus in the name for any of the iRobot, that means mm -hmm. that it comes with the self-emptying dustbin, which is a huge feature. And so what we love about this one is, is that it's a little bit more moderately priced than some of the top of the line ones, but it comes with a lot of the same features. And it's really great for people if you want it to map your house, if you have a bigger home and you want to map a bunch of different rooms, it can tell the difference between hallways and rooms and know wow. where your furniture is. And it'll also adjust naturally if the furniture is moved. So, you know, no room stays the same, especially if you have a family. Yes. And, uh, you know, it's smart enough to be able to navigate all of that. And it just comes with a really awesome technology in it. And so love the entire Roomba model. This is one of their newer ones. And we actually loved it, especially for the price point. Okay, so these robot vacuums are getting to be a little crazy. They literally are so self-sufficient, but I guess if you're going to have a robot in your life, it might as well be a robot vacuum. Well, you don't want to have a robot and then end up doing the work yourself. It exactly. defeats the whole point of having a robot. The what about the last robot that we have over there? We saved the best for last. Mm -hmm. This is our absolute favorite from iRobot. Again, it is the Roomba S9 Plus. And what's so great about it is that it just has the best features within it. It's the easiest to clean. It's the most powerful suction. It also has all of the features that you expect from that iRobot app, which is the best uh, in that in that space. And you know, a lot of times when you're working on these proprietary apps, they can be kind of clunky. You're yeah. not sure if they're totally going to work the way you want it to. The iRobot app is not like that. It's super smooth. It's super easy to use. And there's also a community of iRobot users out there that want to <laughs> share tips. So, you know, if you're into Reddit, there's another great place to look. But yeah. what we love about the S9 Plus is that it is just awesome and is their best model. But at Best Reviews, especially in our testing lab, we're always trying to give people the full picture. We don't want to just be overwhelmingly positive. So there are certain cons to it as well. The one con about this one that we found in the mm -hmm. testing lab is that it is loud, uh, especially the self-emptying feature. And what is about that is, you know, if you've got the baby sleeping in the next room and this thing fires up and is going at the full self-emptying, it's pretty loud and it measured, uh, you know, more than 80 decibels. And so, you yeah. know, that's a, a normal vacuum will be anywhere from 70 to 80. So coming in at that, at that high of a number is a pretty significant thing. So, you know, number one, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. We'll start there. We love that. It's a little bit more expensive, okay. but it is a little bit louder. So if you're looking for that two, super top of the line, you've got a huge house, you can put it five rooms away from a sleeping baby, this is definitely your choice. But it has all the bells and whistles. That's why it's your favorite. All of the bells and whistles. And, you know, it was the most consistent in testing as well, because, you know, we put these through hours and hours of testing, you know, over time, there's different, there's so many different components to these. They have yeah. different brushes on the bottom and things like that. This one was the most steady through all those different trials. Well, I'm telling you, you have me very tempted now to purchase a robot vacuum because it sounds like this is going to take all of the chores away from my house. So I appreciate that, Jacob. Thanks Thank you so, so much. much.